everybody. This is Hassan Shabazz coming at you with another video. Our topic today is actually a question that everyone should ask themselves, one that I ask, my, that I ask myself daily. That is, am I purpose driven or do I have a, what is my end game? So the question is, what is your end game? What's your end game? Are you purpose driven? I mean, what's driving you? What caused you to get up in the morning? What caused you to go through the day? What's your what's your goal? What what do you want to accomplish? It could be a small goal, it could be a big goal, but you need some end game. For many people, it's to get the money to pay the rent. That's why they get up in the morning. That's why they go to work. Some people, it's much more than that. But you need to know what your end game is. And that includes financially, what your financial end game is. What your, and also includes what your health, what your end game is when it comes to your health. This is a financial, this is a health and wellness channel. This is a um, um, human development channel. So we want to look at your end game as far as your physical development, for your spiritual, mental development, just for your human development overall, your overall development as a human being. Your, what, what we will sum up as your wellness. How well are you? So what's your end game? And what's your purpose? You know that at all times. Because your health and your wealth are interlinked. Health is wealth. And wealth is health. Good health is more valuable than being wealthy. You can be wealthy and not have good health. But if you're healthy and you're wealthy, that's when you that's when true wealth comes about. So your health is extremely important. You need to have an end game. You know what your goal is towards your health. Just like you know somewhat what your end game is when it comes to money. Your health is an investment, not an expense. So you need to invest in your health. You need to be concerned about your health just as, your health just as much as you're concerned about your bank account. Because your health is very important. It's not an investment. I'm sorry, it is an investment, it's not an expense. It's an investment. Your health is an investment, not an expense. Now we want to look, go further into what we mean by wellness. Wellness is a state of mind. How you feel about yourself, your sense of being, all of that ties into your wellness. Also nutrition. Uh, the food that you eat, how much nutrition you get from your food, that has to do with wellness. And then that ties into your health. Your health has to do with wellness. That goes to your fitness. How fit are you? That also tells how well you are. The vitamins that you intake. Because the human being needs need vitamins. There are micronutrients that you cannot get from your food. That you have to take vitamins to supplement that. How much sleep you get? I, I think you should get at least six to eight hours a night to have optimal health or be an optimal wellness. Some people disagree, but I think sleep is very important. You should get your sleep. Relaxation. You should have a time when you meditate, when you uh, relax. And that should include television watching. Television watching has its place, but real, really like real relaxation is when you turn off everything. Let the mind go out and search in the universe. Also, activity. I say I, you should have move around 60 minutes of un, uninterrupted activity, movement daily, and care. You should always be concerned about taking care of yourself, your physical body, your emotional body, and your spiritual body. Take care of you. And that goes now back to our diet, the diet has to be a diet that is 
clean, a clean diet, eat clean. We have many videos, in fact, we will, at the end of this video, we'll have in the selection of videos where you can click on the video dealing with how to eat clean. So you need to know how to eat clean, and every person can eat clean. You don't have to have a whole lot of money to eat clean. You have to know what to avoid and what to look for. And then after all that, you have need balance. You need a balance between your work life and your social life. You need to have a work a work life balance. You need to have a situation where you put in the work because you have to put in the work. You got to go to work. You got to put in the work. Even if you work for yourself or you work work for someone else, you have to get up and go. Well, you're working at if you're working at home, you still have to get up and go. So you need to put your work hours in. You need to build your product, build your company, uh, build your brand. That takes hours. That takes work. But also, in doing that, you need to have some time where you enjoy yourself. So you need to have a balance. You need to balance that out. Have some time for your family. If you're married, uh, if you have children, married and have children, take some time to balance that out. If you just have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, take time to balance out time with your significant other. But also, don't neglect your business or uh, don't neglect the job that you're on. So now, so. All of that goes back to your state. Wellness is your state of mind. All of that, all of those things I just talked about, have a, have a great in, great impact on your state of mind. Who you are, what your feelings toward life are, whether you're up, whether you're down, whether you're depressed, whether you're happy. All those all those factors figure into that. What kind of foods you eat how healthy you are, how fit you are, the vitamins that you take, how much sleep you get, how relaxed you are, what activity you're involved in, or how active you are in life, how you take how you uh, take care of yourself overall, all of that controls your state of mind. Now, money. As you pursue money, uh, success, because we have money, basically it's just a, a template, uh, a way to measure success. So in pursuing money or uh, uh, pursuing success, don't neglect your health. In pursuing wealth, don't forget your health. And also in pursuing being healthy, don't, don't forget the fact that you need money. You need money, as um, it says, there's a saying in the book of the Muslims that says, seek the hereafter, but don't forget your share of this world, of this dunya. So I think it's a very balanced way to look at it. Look, look, look for the hereafter, but don't forget that you also live in this physical earth and you need resources, you need income. You have to have money to live on, live on the planet earth. You have to have money to buy he healthy food. You have to have money to uh, live in a clean, healthy environment. So seek the hell out there, but don't forget your share of the world, of the dunya, of the material. So seek the hell out there, but don't forget your share of the world. So you have a share of this blessed world, of this best material universe, your share is your share, it's not my share or anyone else's share. There's no limitations, there's no like, there's no want. The universe that we live in is abundant. You have every right to the blessings of anyone else, so don't think that you don't have a share of this of this dunya of this world so you should know what your objectives are you should know what your goals are you should know what your plans are you should write down your plans write down your objectives 
you should have a clear vision of your life. No matter what it is, no matter how big it is, no matter how small it is, it's your life. You are the one who should be in control of it. You should be the one controlling your destiny. You should be the one driving your car. You know where you want to go, so you have to put the road signs in place to get to where you want to go. So, by doing visualizations, which simply means to sit down and think about what you want to do. Think about where you want, where you want your life to be. How much money you want to have. How successful you want to be. Do you want to be married? Do you want to be um, living on a house on the hill or not living on a house on the hill? It's simple as that. Whatever you want, you should think about it. You don't have to think about it every day, but you should at least think about it consistently. Have it, have it written down and so you can go back and look at it. You got to have a roadmap to where you want to go in order to be successful. Now, that includes your goals as far as weight loss. If you want to lose weight, you should know how much weight you want to lose. You should have an idea of what it's going to take to lose that weight. And you should be willing to put in the effort to lose that weight. So you have to write down on, on, on a piece of paper how much weight you want to lose. And then go about finding what is the best way to, to lose that weight. Get with a trainer. Get with a coach. And have them go over a plan to show you what you need to do to lose the weight you're trying to lose. And then visualize and see yourself at that weight. So you have to put in the work. You have to have a goal. You have to have a direction. You have to know what, what, what you're going, where you're going, know what you want, and then find a way to go get it. So, that, as I said, that's needed if you're looking for financial gain, if you're looking for to improve your health, lose it, you want to lose weight, or you just want to eat better. You still need to know what's your goal, what's, what outcome are you looking for. You want to just eat to look good? That's okay. You want to eat to feel good? That's okay. But know what your outcome is and know why you're willing to put in the work. Why you want to make the sacrifice and move forward to do that. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope we've uh, been able to give you some advice or give you some information. I'll give you something of value. Hope you can learn something from this video. Hope you can make the decisions or choices you need to make to improve your life and to make better health choices in 2021. Health choices for you, how, what kind of food you eat, how much exercise and movement you get on a daily basis and how, how seriously you take your sleep how seriously you take just living healthy and being happy and if we've said many times in our videos the most important thing is to just be happy to feel good even when you don't feel good make yourself feel good fake it until you make it so you have to, sometimes you have to fake feeling good, but make yourself feel good. Try to feel better. So with that, we close. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Make a comment on the video. Share the video. And if you want more content dealing with success and prosperity, we'll have a link down below hit that subscribe button and then hit the uh playlist so we'll see you later